welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look <laughs> there is a low class weirdo who can't get enough of you look i ain't really the type <laughs> or am i <laughs> like i don't really like to name call but there is a low class i mean it just is what it is you gotta call it how you see it and this video may be about one person it may be about multiple people who are attracted to you these people are so attracted to you they just can't get enough they're very enthused with you they're very um addicted to you it's like you're their favorite addiction now the funny thing about this the reason why i call them a weirdo because for one, that's what he is. <laughs> uh, but for two, is because these are the same people that claim that they don't like you, that claim that they don't mess with you like that. These are the same people who down talk on you. These are the same people who try to turn others against you. The, there is a low-class weirdo out there <laughs> who can't get enough of you. It's like their main focus is you. They're, they don't, only goals they got is to like try to ruin you, is to try to downplay you, is to try to ruin your reputation, is to try to like get any and everybody in their mama not to like you. But they're very obsessed with you. Every time you turn around, it's like they're looking at you. Every time you turn around, they're thinking about you, they're talking about you, they talk about you to others in a negative way though. But secretly, behind closed doors, these are the same people that's secretly watching you. They in a closet watching you somewhere, waiting, staying up late watching you, like, <laughs> taking notes, though. Taking notes. And you see it in their actions. You see it in the things that they try to do. They want to get the type of results. They want to try to get that that feeling that you got. They, they oh, shoot. The wind. So let me do like this to make sure. That the wind isn't too much but look there is a low class weirdo who just can't get enough of you they're always focused on you they stay focused on you they don't have much going on with their lives they don't have much going on with themselves this is why they focus on you because they see that you have so much going on they see that you're looking good they see that you are doing things like they see and they feel your energy just like the next person. They see the type of uh, reactions that you get from other people. And they... <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what that was, but I do not play around. I don't know if that was a bug or what. <laughs> but we're not even going to go there, okay? Maybe it's for my juice. But look, they see how people are responding to you. They see the ways in which people love you, and they want that too. This is why they're constantly copying you, but they're weird with it. They want to be in competition with you, and they don't even compare. They're not even near, okay? <laughs> they're not even near. The class is low, okay? The class is very low. You're a very classy person, if I must say so myself, and their class is very low. And I'm not even just talking about appearance-wise. I'm talking about... Their inside, them on the inside, them as a person, they have very low class. They're they're really just not a good person when you really think about it. Like they're not a good person to people. They're not a good person to people that are um, close to them. They just they just not the best person. There's a low class weirdo who just can't get enough of you. It's like every time you turn around, here they are thinking about you like. Here they are trying to make your life like miserable because that because their life is miserable. That's why their life is miserable. So the best thing that they can do is try to bring you down with them because they can't reach your level. They can't reach your level. They've tried and they've tried and they tried. They tried everything in their power to reach your level. They try everything in their power to get the type of results that you're getting they've tried the actions that they thought that you have done but they ain't got the heart that you got they ain't got the spirit that you got they don't some of these people are very like evil on the inside i don't know their spirit is tainted i don't know what happened to their spirit but they're just like 
because of things that um, happened in their life or because they've never found a sense of self or a sense of purpose and because they've like had to like or felt like they needed to follow you and um, be like you, they don't feel good about that. They don't feel good about themselves. This is why they are constantly trying to be like you and others as well. They're not only in competition with you, but they're in competition with others as well. This is why they are constantly scaring people off. This is why they're always into it, like, with somebody. This is why they just really can't keep um, close connections because they're just not a good person. Like, they're they're kind of mean on the low. Like, they're kind of manipulative. They're very, like, controlling. And people don't like that. People don't like that. And they, I don't know, like, like, they think that people are blind to it, but it's really the ones that... Only people who are blind to it is the ones that they got at their fingertips, like, wrapped around their finger. There's a the low-class weirdo, okay? I'm just... I, I just call it how I see it. And if the shoe fits, wear it. Because, quite honestly, I got some low-class weirdos in my life as well. And they probably watching this video. Like I said, they're they're watching you. They're watching you. <laughs> they watching you. They want to know what you talk. They want some attention. This is the only, this darn it the only attention that they get. Okay, they be yearning for attention, yearning for others' attention, yearning for others' val validation. They really be yearning for that. That's what they need to thrive. They need somebody to give them the attention that they don't have for themselves. This is why they're constantly watching you. This is why they constantly want to do. This is why you do something, they do it. This is why they do things to try to make you upset. They do things to try to make you jealous, not knowing that you're not that person. <laughs> you ain't that guy. You're not the one. You didn't did enough work on yourself. You didn't did enough reflecting. You know who you are. You didn't figure things out. Like, to the point where they can't make you mad about nothing. Because for one... The class is too low, okay? The class is low. You, for one, wouldn't follow a, a class, a low-class person. Like, that's not you. People who you are inspired by, people who, are you, who you are admired by, they doing their thing. <laughs> they doing their thing. But them, it's nothing to be jealous about anything because they don't have much. They don't have much of nothing. So, why they be, like, trying to be messy and stuff, it's really just a reflection of what's going on on the inside with them. It's really a reflection of who they are. It's really a re reflection of their morals. It's really a reflection of, um, like, the type of things that they value. Like, they really value the fact of trying to piss you off <laughs> they really value ah. oh now i'm sitting in a weird position because oh hold on y'all oh shoot hold on Ugh. look y'all know i ain't editing this ouch my ankle hurt i was sitting in a weird position because this is how this the way the sun looked best let's see they really value, um, like, just trying to, like, get under your skin, like, but they can't. The funny thing is, it, they fail every single time, and that pissed them off even more. <laughs> that pissed them off e even more because it's like, now they have to strategize. Now they have to go to plan B. It's like everything, they, tr they try to throw these weapons at you, against you, and them things be bouncing back like a boomerang. They bounce like back like a boomerang and popped them in the forehead. <laughs> they popped them in the forehead. So now they're hurt. They mess around and hurt themselves. Like they mess around and hurt themselves because no matter how much they try to copy you, no matter how much they try to be like you, no matter how many notes that they take when it comes to you, no matter which play by play that they do, it still doesn't work. So it really hurts them deep down inside. It hurts them that they can't figure you out. It hurts them. Your presence hurts them. They really would rather you not be around. You being around is like a burden to them. 
you being around is like a uh, a burden to them because you're like a big sis. You're like a big bro to them. You really are, and they don't like that. They don't like being feeling like that they are beneath you. They feel like that you are better than them. This is how they feel. So they don't want nobody to like you. They want to find any reason for people not to like you. They want to point out each and every flaw that you have or that they want to make up or whatever so that others can feel a type of way about you as well. You're a major threat to them. You are. Just your presence alone. Just by you being you. Authentically you. They don't really know how to be authentic because they don't have a sense of self. So they pick... They have other people as well that they're following, that they're trying to be like, they don't know. They don't have a sense of self. They don't have a sense of purpose. They don't. They are inspired by you. They really are. And they, deep, it's like they like that, but deep down inside, they don't like that. They're like, man, they trying to figure out why they still watching you, why they still, you know, admired by you. They're inspired by you. But at the same time, they claim that they don't like you. There's a low-class weirdo who just can't get enough of you. And it's quite annoying. It's quite annoying because it's very obvious. It's very obvious. They don't really try to hide it either. But like I said, they do. Certain stuff that they think that you don't know, but you do. But I don't know. They got to... They, they'll figure it out. I just, I'm just here to point it out, okay? We know. <laughs> we know that you're watching Love Class Weirdo. <laughs> Look, we know. We know. It is what it is. So look, if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you don't already have time, what you waiting on? Look, <laughs> get your free $100 for signing up with Direct Deposit. If you don't like it, you can always like put your Direct Deposit back somewhere else. But me personally, I love my Chime account. They got the best banking app to me okay they have the best banking app and they don't charge me any extra fees when i'm traveling abroad so i really love that about chime click the link in the description box below if you're not a member already on this channel i do invite you to become a member because we lit over on the membership side that's all i have for this video stay spiritually you stay spiritually in tuned and i'll see y'all in the next one peace